This is my teacher, and I'm gonna get my teacher fired. Sorry, teacher. It's time for school, and we have a new teacher in the classroom. How exciting! What happened to our previous teacher, you ask? Oh, you don't want to know. This is Madame Pudding. She seems like a very lovely lady. Actually, I lied. She doesn't seem lovely at all. She kind of seems awful. But let's see how she reacts or responds to getting... Oh, watermelons. Right. Uh, getting watermelons thrown at her back. <laughs> it's just so rude. Um, also, we have a, a gecko that we can throw some watermelons at. And I feel like the gecko appreciates the watermelons because um, he can eat them after we smash them over his cage. Poor guy. Oh, you got a cake. That wasn't me, man. I wasn't the one who sent the cake. Don't look at me. Now you guys know the drill. We need to earn enough stars to purchase the next thing to see what the next thing does. Oh my goodness, 54,000. Holy moly, how much is- 82,000 for a flamingo? 82,000 for a baseball, which seems really messed up to just throw baseballs at a teacher. But why stop now? We've already thrown shurikens at a teacher. Goodness gracious. I'm throwing watermelons at a lamp. Does this create a new scenario for us if I keep throwing watermelons at this lamp? Let's find out. Of course, the end goal you can see in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, no. That wasn't me. But I'm glad that they're cloning Madame Pudding in, in the basement of this school. This is a very, very strange school. There are too many clones. Actually, one is too many clones, but they got a lot. They're cloning the teachers. I mean, we literally lost. We literally just watched this this pudding lady um, get turned into a tombstone, and there she is. She's back, and apparently she hates disco. Let's start throwing some watermelons at her back. But like I was saying, you can see that that very very unhappy meter in the upper left hand corner. Uh, if we get that all the way to the end, she either quits her job or she gets fired because she gets just so upset that the faculty is like, you, you can't be here anymore. You need to keep your cool, Madame Pudding. And she's like, do you understand what I've been through? And I'm sitting there on a pile, a throne of watermelons going, I don't know what happened. I'm the... She just, she freaked out for no reason. It's crazy. She's crazy. That lady's crazy. Also, death walked up in here and turned her into a tombstone. I'm just saying. I had nothing to do with that. All right? I'm innocent. Now I'm going to keep throwing water. Do we have enough? I think we have enough for a new thing. What's the new thing? It's a camera. All right. Let's uh, take some pictures. What, what do you think these pictures look like? This is just a picture of the outside of a watermelon. It's like a close-up shot of watermelon guts splashing all over the place. Okay, you really gotta stop doing that. I need my teacher. Why do I need my teacher? Actually, she's she hasn't taught us anything. And all of the teachers up to this point have taught us nothing. All they do is turn around and just scribble on the chalkboard all day. And they're not even writing anything that makes any sense. Does this formula that's on the back chalkboard have anything to do with anything at all? Is that a real formula? I don't think so. I see some squiggly lines. They make you look smart, but are you actually smart? I mean, your name is Pudding. Oh. Oh, <laughs> um, can we get a new floor, please? Anybody? Floor? I hate it when that happens. Also, I hope that I wasn't, like, in the section of the floor that just gave out and sunk into the depths of the earth. Now, every teacher comes with their own set of reactions. And I would like to see all of Madame Pudding's reactions. Now, currently, we've seen... Oh, this is new. Um, my lady's gonna get eaten by a dinosaur. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Jurassic Park is real. Um, I don't know why that dinosaur chose to eat 
Madame Pudding, but he went straight for her. Maybe it's because she's made of pudding. I'm just saying. She's a clone, but what kind of material are they using as the base for, for that? I would say probably pudding. Gosh, the way she like... It's like crumpled up in there. It's very upsetting. Oh my gosh. Let's throw more watermelons at the camera. See if anything happens. Because I'm pretty sure that depending on where you throw things, uh, new animations pop up. Every time though, she's getting eaten by a dinosaur. Someone needs to get this dinosaur under control or else we're going to run out of Madame Pudding uh, clones. What about the gecko? I always feel bad throwing things at the at the animal that's in a cage. I feel like the animal has done nothing to deserve this, but at the same time, maybe I'm just feeding him. This is the way he eats. He likes it. Just covered in watermelon guts. All right, well, at least it wasn't a dinosaur that took your life this time. It's a little bit more immediate. What if I switch it up? Like alternate between the- No, I have never even thought about doing that. Okay, wait, what? We're about to crane lift this. Oh my, oh no. No, just, I never, we don't need that one. So this whole time I've been out here tapping once on the objects. Turns out I can use multiple fingers to just go absolutely buck wild throwing watermelons. It's like I got eight arms. What kind of school am I at right now? This is this is crazy. This is some kind of alternate dimension, Rick and Morty kind of stuff. What is happening? That chemical is flying. Where is it going? Okay, you got you got beakers of chemicals flying around the classroom. That's not my problem. That's you, Madame Pudding. That's you, not me. I can't believe how fast. Oh, I hate that. What was her name again? Oh my gosh. Miss Thunderface, of course. So Madame Pudding is actually Miss Thunderface? Or I I actually I I don't I don't know. But it's terrifying that she's wearing her like a suit. Uh we can upgrade, right? Do we have enough? Oh, 82,000. Okay, never mind. I lied. I can't believe that I played this game for this long and had never thought to use more than one finger at a time. Literally just tap. I mean, look at the difference. This is how fast I can go when I'm using one finger, multiple fingers. It's like a machine gun of watermelons. I love the idea of just like me with multiple arms just flinging watermelons all over the place. It's majestic. Not to mention, I get some stars real fast and i think that we can we can upgrade at this point right it's gonna be thunderface there she is how she got that name no one truly knows but she does kind of have a face that looks like it got hit by lightning let's upgrade let's upgrade our weapon i feel bad throwing a baseball but i'm gonna do it also i'm pretty sure this is new i don't think you could buy stars before because if you could, I probably would have a long time ago. I do kind of like this idea. But for now, since I found this amazing ability to throw multiple objects at the same time, I feel like it's not entirely necessary. I will say, if I bought the million stars, I mean, we'd probably be able to buy just about everything that's left. But at the same time, I kind of want to get to the, the end of Madame Pudding without, uh, without, you know, buying stuff. I want to see if I can do it. Can I persevere? The temptation is strong though, I'll tell you. You guys know me. When, when there's an opportunity to spend money to, to make things happen faster, oftentimes I'm gonna do it. Uh, she's gonna get hit with an arrow. Oh, what? Okay, that, I mean, that was proof right there that Madame Pudding is actually just made of pudding, right? Like she got hit with that arrow and just splattered. She popped like a balloon. That was, that was very upsetting. I will say of all the teachers that we've dealt with up to this point, Madame Pudding is definitely the most resilient. You can see like her gauge, her, her unhappiness gauge is much, much stronger than the previous ones. It's gonna take a lot to get her to the end of her rope. 
but we're gonna get her there. This one is just, I, I feel like this animation is just designed to waste my time. Like nothing even happens to the teacher. It's just there to make me watch it. I wish that uh, there was an option to skip cutscenes that you've already seen, but no. You gotta watch it. And there we go, we get another flying beaker. Very excited. So she thinks that it was me who did that. And I can't really blame her for that. Cause I mean, I am throwing baseballs. A lot of baseballs in the classroom. But hey, you gotta give me credit where credit's due. I got very good aim. And for someone who's throwing in multiple directions, I always hit my target. I'm a born athlete. So the next time we get to 82,000 stars, we are buying whatever the next thing is. Oh, what's she doing? She's never done this before. Why? I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, gosh. As if knowing that, like, they're cloning Madame Puddings in the basement wasn't creepy enough. When she drinks that chemical, she just becomes a four-headed blob Madame Pudding. Oh. Oh, it's hideous. All right. The, the floor. I love how she looks at it and she's like, Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to keep drawing on this chalkboard. And then she gets mad at me. Like, why would you let the whole entire floor collapse underneath you? I didn't do it, lady. Get out of here. I'm just throwing baseballs. Oh, wait. I, I, I have enough money. I, I, I make stars so fast now that I, that I actually miss what I'm doing. 118,000. Okay, we can change the pet, though. We got Flamingo. Hello, Flamingus. Ooh, the next one's a snail. I like that. Oh, poor, 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 poor Flamingo. I feel bad for throwing baseballs at a Flamingo. Why didn't I feel bad for throwing baseballs at an iguana? I kind of did, but I chose to ignore it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> She's about to pop. <laughs> why, why the eyeballs stay, though? Why are the eyeballs the only thing that, that can maintain their form when she gets hit with an arrow? What's that about? No one really knows. This is definitely the strangest school I've ever been to. So her anger meter isn't even halfway. Can you believe that? This lady has the patience of like something that has a lot of patience that I can't think of right now. Why can't, oh, she turned into a baby. I thought she was gonna turn into the four-headed monster. But damn putty, you were actually a cute baby. What happened? Oh. I like this. Okay, so we're getting variations of the cutscenes that we've already seen, but they're slightly different. I don't know if this is because we hit the halfway mark but I'm very interested to see what kind of uh, changes they make to some of these cutscenes. I mean, this is the one where she pops. Okay, so she's still popped. Oh, I have enough to upgrade. What do I get? Drums. That's gonna be super annoying. Throwing baseballs at drums? Okay, we're going full finger mode. <laughs> it's insane what a difference that makes in the speed. What's gonna happen to her? Baby? Oh, no, not baby. Hey, you know, why don't you teach like that? I feel like having four heads as a teacher would be a great advantage, right? Like, you could see everything. When you're not facing the classroom, one of your heads is going to be facing the classroom. But no, she just leaves for some reason. You got a multi-headed advantage, lady. You got to take advantage of that. So I think we've purchased everything at the 82000 cost. So I think now we have to get to 118,000 to buy our next set of objects. Ooh, it's getting expensive. And that option to buy a million stars in one go is extremely tempting. Let's see, can I afford? What's the next thing? Oh, it's a cone at 118,000. Okay, we're getting very close though. I think this'll do it. Boom, 118, 120,000. Buy me a traffic cone. A one-eyed teddy bear is the next thing. Interesting. What happens when you throw a baseball at a traffic cone? It sounds like jello. So now that we have the traffic cone, do we get new cutscenes? Oh, we got a dinosaur. New dinosaur? Same dinosaur. All right, fair enough. I have a confession, and you probably already know what it is. If you look to the upper right-hand corner, you may see that I have a lot more stars than I had. 
previously. I bought the stars, okay? I want to see all the stuff. So, let's just go in sequence here, get ourselves a snail, and then let's get ourselves a coffee cup. Oh my gosh, a boomerang is the next thing. Let's see this. I'm, I'm sorry, snail. I really am. But at the same time, I got to do what I got to do. Look at this. Look at this chaos. This is absolute madness. I don't even know if this million stars is going to be enough because these uh, new items are getting real expensive. Get ourselves a teddy bear. Get ourselves an owl. Oh my gosh, a pet alligator. And then the boomerang. I'm, I'm almost out of money. I'm literally almost out of money now. This is crazy. The, the Okay, the teddy bear squeaks. The, the owl hoots. Of course he does. And then the teacher gets turned into a tombstone. Look at how fast we increased her, her anger gauge, though. Now that we got this these higher level items, it seems like it's going a lot faster. But let's buy whatever we can buy next. I will say, though, I'm pretty much out of money. Like, this is it. I can buy the gumdrop machine. And then that's it. I can't buy anything else because I've spent all my money. Wait. That's a weird noise for a gumball machine to make, but whatever. Lock this woman up. No cake. Apparently she didn't learn her lesson the last time. So I was doing some rough math. For the remaining items, it's gonna take about 1.4 million stars. Which, as you can see, is a lot more than what I currently have. At 225,000, we can get our next item. So that's at least what I'd like to get to, because I, I really want a pet alligator in the classroom. I think that's pretty awesome. Or a pet T-Rex. I mean, that's that's cool too. Oh, I have enough to upgrade my thing. What, what do I want? I want alligator. Oh my gosh, it's a whale. The final object is a whale. That is beautiful. Listen to the alligator. Sounds like he's purring. It's weird. And of course, being the self controlless monster that I am, I purchased another million stars so that we can get the last objects. What is this? A gramophone? Let's let's throw some boomerangs at it. Get the little record scratch. I like that. And then on the pet side, you gotta just have a whale hanging out in the classroom. That's a small whale. It's beautiful. Beautiful song, Mr. Whale. And then last but not least. Oh, I didn't even buy. Oh my gosh. Is that like a dart gun or something? Okay, well, we we throw pizza. <laughs> of course we throw pizza. I don't feel so bad about throwing pizza at a whale. I feel like a whale could appreciate some pizza. I gotta get to 300,000 and then we get the dart gun, which obviously is like the ultimate prank tool. And Madame Pudding is very quickly approaching the end of the line. The max anger meter. What will she do at that point? I don't know, but I really want to find out. All right, we made it to 300,000. Let's purchase our final upgrade. Boom. Oh! It's not a dart gun. It's, I don't know, a laser blaster. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually see it on the screen. Oh, man. All right. That's pretty awesome. So now we just have one job to do. Get Madame Pudding fired. And I feel like shooting things with a laser blaster is a pretty good way to do that. Please, no. Don't do this to me. Cut it! We can all thank my editor for saving us from that terrifying situation. Thank you, Zach. You've done a great service for all of us today. We are in your debt. The sound that that makes is very, very gross. Okay, we're, you can see that bar. It's getting real, real close. Almost there. Just gotta watch her pop like a balloon a few more times, I guess. I think her lips get left behind as well. <laughs> they do, I just noticed it. So not only do her eyes stay intact, but also her lips for some reason. I think this might be- Yeah, this is it! She quit! She finally quit! No, you don't quit, you're fired! Get out of here. You stink, I win! I can't believe there's another teacher. This is crazy. Who would want to deal with me? After all that? 
Who's this weirdo? The headmaster. So you're the big bad boss, huh? <laughs> you think you're so cool. Well, you're not. I'm cool. I don't know why, but I'm just I'm just saying. I'm just telling you. I feel like we got to see what this guy does. Does he even care? Like he's just so calloused. Oh. Okay. Okay, he's got very stretchy arms. I'm impressed. All right, that was freaky. All right, that was freaky. They're cloning giants now. My guy, th this this psycho, this headmaster. Oh, okay. He's he's been split into three smaller versions of himself. All right, see ya. Have have a great day, I guess. This guy, he's got all kinds of crazy experiments going on in this school. I guarantee it. I mean, that's the face of a mad scientist if I've ever seen one. You're a villain. What is that? <laughs> Who's doing that? I mean, he's gone. We'll never see him again. Oh! Oh! It's not me, I'm not glitching the matrix. Why is he mad at me? Oh! I don't like this guy. But now the question is, can you even fire the headmaster? I mean, he's the boss. He's got spikes coming out of the floor. Oh, I was not expecting that. He's been impaled. He's fine, don't worry, he's fine. You need to leave. The giants are going to take this man away. So I never have to see him again. Oh great, he's back.